Wow. Uh, this has been a long time coming. Welcome to the day that we have all been waiting for. We are speaking to you from the East Hills Shopping Center, and we're standing in the former Gordman's location that has been transformed by my great crew, Michael Montgomery and his folks in a, a week to a community vaccination center. Uh, we are ready Monday to start vaccinating hundreds of our community members that are seniors and who have uh, underlying medical conditions that qualify. And very quickly, we will ramp up to being able to vaccinate thousands of people a week. This is a partnership that Mosaic reached out to uh, both our, our city and our county. And this is a collaborative effort by multiple agencies to be able to do this. And, and this is completely a team effort. There, there is no single entity that could do this by themselves. So really, our rate limiting step in this process is not us. Our rate limiting step is how much vaccine that we're able to get from the state. So we are ready. We are prepared. This has been a long time coming. I would be remiss if I, I did not take a moment to say thank you to uh, the Mosaic caregivers who have fought the good fight for over nine months now. They are warriors. Uh, they are beyond compassionate. They're tired, but they are still giving their very best to you each and every day. That is what we do. And lastly, I would say this. We have rolled up our sleeves to put all of this together in a very short time because we recognize that the federal government in, in their transition and the state and all the things they're working on really did not have a plan for us to go the last mile. And the last mile is the most important. That's actually giving immunizations to people. And so we stepped up. We stepped up with the city. We stepped up with the county. We stepped up with many volunteers. So we've rolled up our sleeves. But now it's time for you to roll up your sleeves and get an immunization. And I would ask you to do this for yourself, for your family, for your coworkers, for your community, for your state, and for your country. And we have given over 2,000 vaccines thus far at Mosaic and it had very, very few side effects. I've had my two vaccines and all I had was a little bit of a sore arm. I encourage you to make that decision. It's a patriotic decision and it's a good, it is a good health decision. So I'm gonna turn it over to my good friend, the mayor. Well, thank you, Dr. Laney. And on behalf of our city and community, I want to express my sincere appreciation to Mosaic for their initiative and leadership on the community vaccine rollout. Other agencies have also stepped up and committed time and resources and to help ensure the success of this rollout. And we recognize their contributions. That commitment and coordinated effort allows us to start community vaccinations next week. I'm very grateful for this partnership and the dedication and perseverance of everyone involved to make it happen. I have really been looking forward to this day as I know all of you have. So let's go, Dr. Turner. Well, a uh, good day and I'll go ahead and take my mask off so hopefully you can hear. Um, 
what I'm saying, and I, and I want to echo what Dr. Laney said and, and what the mayor said, and there are many people in this room that uh, haven't been mentioned, but we really appreciate all they've done to get this prepared today. And, and again, as Dr. Laney said, at, at, here in the county, here in the city, here locally and in Region H, all the folks working together. And I echo what he said around thanking our caregivers. When you think about that, you have to think of everyone that's there. The folks, the cafeteria workers who deliver food on the floor, you know, our EVS people who are cleaning our facilities, facility tirelessly every day, the nurses who are holding people's hands, the doctors who are, who are taking care of them and providing that care. Um, it is really a, a full team out there that really are forward facing, taking care of this community. And I want to reiterate that the hospital here, Maryville, Albany, those are the most safe place you can be to receive your care. So with that, today is a day of hope. As Dr. Laney said, it's time to roll up your sleeve and get your vaccine. And as he also said, that is our limiting factor, the number of vaccines, but as we get more vaccine, we will deliver more vaccine to those that are eligible at this time. I would like to mention that our medical center in Maryville and in Albany are working with their community partners on a daily basis and will share more information on how they will do their vaccine rollout in their communities working in concert with not only their municipalities but also their counties and again Region H on how do we deliver this vaccine. Um, for Maryville residents, you need to call the Nottaway County Health Department. In Albany, residents need to call the Tri-County Health Department. We are thankful for our regional partners and for everyone pitching in. And when we say this is a group effort, we're not kidding. Missouri Western will be providing volunteers. University of Kansas City Medical School will be providing volunteers. And we have had multiple volunteers from the city and from the county and from our local areas. Now, before I mention registration details, please know, again, we will say this multiple times, we have limited vaccine supply, but we will give the vaccine we have. We, have. we are and have ordered vaccine on a weekly basis. We do not know until one to two days prior how much vaccine we will have. So be patient and that will affect the registration spots early on normally in the week and we should be able to expand later in the week based on how many vaccines we receive. This is a very fluid process. Again, we are not always 100% sure when vaccine will be available, but we certainly will be transparent and let you know when the vaccine is available and how many spots we have available to give the vaccine here at this site at the Old Gorman's area. Please be patient. We want to vaccinate everyone who wants a vaccine. And of that, we want to encourage you to get your vaccine. You may experience delays if you go on our website. Please, again, be patient. We will be opening more slots as we have more availability. And the more folks that go on this site, it could cause delays. But our teams are working diligently to make this as smooth a process as possible. But please, again, in the early days of our vaccination, please be patient. Please do not call the medical center, your doctor's office, or the nurse hotline to schedule an appointment. In St. Joe, we are not able to do phone-in appointments at this time. We are working on a process that will enable our ability to do this However, at present, locally in our region, this is an online sign-up process here. Again, as I mentioned, for Maryville and Albany, in Maryville, you're to call the Nottoway County Health Department, and in Albany, the Tri-County Health Department. 
Right now, again, registration is all online. You must have an appointment to receive your vaccine. We will not be able to do walk-ins at this time. Again, as we said, this is a fluid process and we would like to get to a point where walk-ins would be available. However, the vaccines that we have in our possession have to be maintained at very specific temperatures and controlled in a very specific way. And once we reconstitute these vaccinations, we have to give them in a time frame of over several hours. That is why walk-ins, we work very hard uh, to do this, so walk-ins will not be available in the beginning. As more vaccines become available, we hope to be able to open up a walk-in process. But at this time, that's not going to be the way it works. So with that said, with all the sacrifices that not only our caregivers have made with time away from their families, times missed, working extra, the sacrifices that this community, this county, and this region has made, their businesses, the folks that live here, the mask. We know people aren't fond, but still, what do we need to do? Wash our hands, wear your mask. Light is at the end of the tunnel and it's not a train, okay? But it will take some time to get there. So the website should be open here quickly. And if you go to www.mymlc.com forward slash vaccine, that's www.mymlc forward slash vaccine, you should be able to schedule starting next Monday, and we will be giving vaccine throughout the week. Again, thank you, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Dr. Laney. I can't thank Dr. Cameron enough for his guidance, Linda Barkey for coming back, Michael Polito, our COO, Jaron Pippett working with the region, Dwayne Stilson working on making sure that we could coordinate this uh, in the, around the communities and all of our VPs and the staff that have worked so diligently in cooperation with the city and the county to make this happen. So thank you all. Yes. Is there is there an estimate number for how many will be how many vaccines will be available at the start of next week? I know you said there could be more vaccines coming midweek and availability could open up, but from the start, what's kind of the rough estimate of how many people can be vaccinated when it starts? Um, on Monday we will start with one hundred and we would we would say one hundred a day. That is not a number that we necessarily are horribly happy about, but that's about what we have. The first couple of days will be also working out the process in the community. Understand with our caregivers, it is a little bit different because of the way we, we do that. The paperwork will be the same, but just the ability of flow and working out logistics here in this wonderful space. But we will start with 100 on Monday and it would be 100 every day. If we have the ability to increase, we will. We have submitted a request for vaccine. It was in on Wednesday evening. We will know Sunday or Monday how much we will receive. So the vaccine that we have in stock today and we know allows us to start with 100 uh, vaccinations a day. Well, um, that certainly would be part of a challenge, but many folks that have contacted us, they have other relatives that have been working to help them work through the process of scheduling because uh, anyone, either their significant other, their kids or friends can go online and assist them. And that is also why we are working on a phone in process for scheduling. We are just not able to do that at this time in this area in St. Joe. Okay. So this location, uh, is this going to be said to be the vaccination clinic for even as the phases continue to open up and um, 
eventually to the to the public? Is this where the vaccines are going to be done? So right now, this is a fluid process. This will be our mass vaccination shot here locally, unless something changes with the state. Once we get through a few tiers. I know that the federal government and the state are trying to work with local pharmacies around delivery. What that time frame is that this facility will stay open is unknown, but it is my expectation that for this facility will be providing vaccine for most likely at least six months and possibly longer. And what's the max amount of vaccines that you think that you could do if supply wasn't there? If supply wasn't an issue, we here in this facility, we can do 1,000 to 1,500 vaccines a day and possibly more. That is a day. Our goal is to do here in St. Joe somewhere between five to 10,000 vaccines a week. But again, we don't have that amount of vaccine. And it would be different based on your community size and your need and those that want to come get the vaccine and we definitely encourage that. We have seen minimal side effects from this vaccine. Is there going to be an honor system code for those who are trying to get the vaccine by the online appointment? Is there anything to check whether or not they have a high-risk symptom? Okay. Um, the, the state has made it clear that this vaccine will be made available to those that you are either 65 and up, or if you have a qualifying condition which is listed, they will attest that they have one of those conditions and we are taking them on their word. We will not be asking, do you really have this condition or not? If you come in here and you tell us you qualify, we believe that you qualify and we want to get as many shots in as many arms as we possibly can. Thank you to say those in the Albany location who want to get a shot should for Maryville, you call Nottaway and Health Department, and for Albany, you call the Tri-County Health Department. The reason I ask that is uh, I know Tri-County, uh, they were denied a recent shipment of vaccine, and they, they're, they're a small staff cover in those three counties. I, I guess, how much is Mosaic, is, is this process, how much can that help Tri-County in that more rural area get those vaccines? Okay, that again, that is an excellent point. That's why we keep pointing out vaccine is limited. We, when the shipments that we get are, mm -hmm. are for our system and we are sharing inside our system. And, and so we will continue to try to assist them. We did recently assist them to make sure that they could co hopefully complete their tier 1A uh, folks. And those would be your medical providers your paramedics, your fire, your police, your sheriff, um, those forward-facing uh, folks, we did provide them with some vaccine. If we get 100 a day, how many are we shipping up to our other counties? Um, in that, it, it's determined by how many they think they need. So our 100 is 100 here, okay? We have other vaccine to determine, and I do not have that number exactly, how much I'll be sending to say, Maryville or Albany at this specific time. How much was put in the request? Uh, how many, the total number of vaccines in this request that you said you're still waiting to hear work from Sunday or Monday? We requested over 6,000 vaccines to arrive weekly. Now the state will not be able to fill our request, I can tell you, but we ask for 6,000. So you're requesting what you think you can give and then the state basically allocates on what they have? Yes, the state has stated they believe vaccine will become more mm -hmm. available over the next six weeks. Um, so we would expect our numbers to go up. We can, every week we can adjust our request based on one, what the availability is, uh, and then how many shots we think we can get. So in closing. Uh, Here you go, boss. In closing, uh, Joey just uh, whispered in my ear that uh, Monday is already full. And so we have already had an excellent response online to uh, scheduling vaccines. We hope that continues. So we ask for your help and assistance in getting out the, the good news and the word so that everybody can uh, 
can get an immunization. Thank you for coming today, and we appreciate your support uh, very much.